What is a Boolean search? How powerful can it really be? Can it help me in recruiting? Absolutely. Check out this video right now and find out how. Hey, welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brandon Rooney, your millionaire recruiter. If you have not seen this channel before, it's all about upping your game in the recruiting industry. So let's get to it. So today we're gonna to take it back to what I call basics or fundamentals, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but this is Boolean searches. And so this actually has a meaning. This actually came from a certain person, George Bully. And we'll just go through it. I'll just tell you the really, uh, as far as I'm concerned, very fundamentals of Boolean searches on LinkedIn. You can of course do it on any platform. It still will, still will be accurate if you wanna do it through Google, you wanna do it through GitHub. There's so many places you can do a Boolean search. Um, but this is really specialized for LinkedIn Recruiter, in my opinion. And so we'll just walk you through it. And then there'll be an additional video where we'll do an advanced Boolean search, but you definitely have to know the basics. You have to, you know, walk before you jog and run. So I'll, we'll do a screen share and I'll see you on the other side. All right, fun share screen, here we go. Uh, Boolean search, like I told you, George Bully is the one who invented Boolean, um, the logic over around it, I should say, uh, over 200 years ago. And so what really this is, is it's a way to drastically improve your search results. It will help you organize your keywords, secure better results. Um, these are really query modifiers that are symbols you can use to organize um, and further refine your search. It's really so you're not wasting a ton of your time. So let's talk it to you like this. Quotes, quotation marks, I like to call bunnies, are used when searching for an exact phrase. So an example for this would be software engineer. You want that whole thing because if you just put software and engineer, it's going to find those words all over the place, but not together as an exact phrase. Second is an asterisk. And this is something that I think a lot of people forget because I find myself forgetting this one, <laughs> but this is a really good one. This is if you put an asterisk um, or a star, I like to call it, at the end of, at the end of um, a keyword, it's gonna include all of its variations. So if I'm gonna put the example here is recruits, recruits with the asterisk, it's gonna bring up recruiter, recruitment, recruiting, love this, love this. Uh, parentheses is the next very common Boolean used. It's very powerful as well. And um, in this put, I put it with or as well. And whenever you're doing or and or not, which I'll go over in just a sec, you have to do it in caps 100%. So I wanted to use the parentheses and or so you could see really how powerful this is. And what that looks like is engineer. So let's say I want to get a senior or a lead. The or again is in caps. So we're gonna put senior or lead, and it's gonna grab any engineer that is either a senior or a lead. So that's what's really cool because lots of times uh, I know in my industry for sure, there are, um, you can get senior, you can get staff, you can get lead, like they're all like very similar. And remember, not one thing means the same thing at every single company. That's what's really important to realize. So sometimes senior is staff at some companies. Um, the leveling system is very important. So this is a really cool feature for Boolean. And here we go. So this is one of the simplest functions, in my opinion, to do. And I have a good example here. So let's say we need a software engineer with React. So I'm going to put React and software engineer. Remember, I got my little bunnies here. And the and is definitely in caps. And so that's going to grab every software engineer who is a true software engineer on their profile that also has the word react on their profile as well. Now, not, I think not is also another one, another Boolean that people forget a lot about. It's very, very powerful. So uh, there's all sorts of things that when you're talking to a hiring manager that they'll say like, okay, all these things are great, but really we don't want someone with X experience. Um, so like if I'm gonna, we wanna talk about uh, languages and technologies, I might have someone say, we'll take someone that does almost any fast moving modern technology, but we don't want anyone that does C sharp. C sharp's really old. It's funny because Biggie, one of the big fives, Microsoft uses C sharp, but um, a lot, I hear that a lot. Like we can take anyone, not C sharp. So what I will do here in my example is I'm going to have React, not C sharp. 
Okay, um, and then if you're not in the technology world, C pound or C hashtag, whatever you kids call it these days, <laughs> um, is C sharp. But so React, not C sharp. And the, again, the not must be in, in caps. That is exactly how it works. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. This definitely here, um, take a little screenshot of this. This is a great example of how you can really be um, great with your Booleans and how you can sort things down. Now I will say, take a moment, I will say that do not over Boolean search. It's very cool to get your snipers out um, with these Booleans and like overdo it and get it down to like 50 results, 100 people, you know, whatever. But when you have bigger searches, it allows you to go on bigger tangents. And you got to think that the good recruiter isn't the one, you know, the good recruiter is the one going through all the different ways to search. I talk about this a lot in my videos that there is at least five different ways to search, five different ways to um, run through candidates. And you can also even go one through 40 pages on you know LinkedIn if you, if you wanna be thorough or you can tangent like I tangent a lot. Um, but use Booleans as your friends, but not as the rule, if that makes sense. Because if uh, a lot of times, and this drives me crazy, a lot of times I have people say, sorry, like I, I just went through all of the possible searches. There's no one left on LinkedIn. Oh. It makes me so upset because there are hundreds of thousands of people on LinkedIn that are available. It's just your search was probably too specific and that's where this Boolean comes into play. So use Boolean as your friend, not your rule. All right, have fun with this. Uh, we will do a video where I'm actually going through LinkedIn, doing the Boolean and we'll get really, um, we'll have fun with it, get maybe a little more nitty gritty. Um, so you can actually see it in action. I think that that's really important, but I think that going back to basics and having the fundamentals on Booleans is super important. So go have fun. And I will see you every Thursday at noon. And don't forget that money is just a vessel to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. So go live it, go have fun. See you next week.